What up guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna show you how we can participate for the superposition testnet since they're gonna have an R drop in the future. So in case you don't know, superposition is an L3. That means a blockchain that is being built on top of Arbitron. Their parent company is Fluidity. So we had a pretty decent R drop last time. Actually, I actually made 10X on the amount of fees that I spent. So that's why I'm doing the testnet because usually I don't really get involved with testnet for me. It is just wasting time and usually we don't get anything meaningful or we just don't get anything. So let me go ahead and show you guys the process because it is basically free. You're just going to be staking some flight. That is the only thing that um, you're going to be spending some money on. But other than that, everything else is free and we know that it is incentivized. So that's a good thing. So for fluidity, uh, I mean, for superposition, the first task that we need to take is completing this in track quest, which is available until the 30th. So we have a week left to participate. Now, if you're seeing this after seven days, that doesn't mean that just because the this in track quest is not available, you cannot participate anymore. Obviously, no, but this might serve as a multiplier. So if you can try to do it um once you see the video obviously if it is still available so quite easy to complete we just have to follow twitter join discord uh retweet then we have i'm um, getting some faucet tokens swap a minimum of a hundred dollars in volume we have staken 500 fly tokens which that is like one buck so again you're really not spending anything and last one we have um follow in track on twitter so again something that you can do within 15 um, 30 minutes so first step is let's go ahead and show you guys how we can stake so this is the fluidity website i'm gonna add all the links in the description but also you guys can just use this and click on it and you'll be redirected to the, to the website but just for simplicity i'm also gonna be adding the links so we have staking which is the first step so staking here, we can see that we have some tiers. So if we're staking below 5,000, we have no tiers. If we're staking above 5,000, we're shrimps, then dolphin, then surfer, then tiki warrior. And then the last one is super surfer. If you want to have a tier right, right away, you just need to be staking 5,000 tokens, which we can check the price. Uh, let's go down the converter. That is 29 bucks, so less than 30 bucks. So that is something that I do think it is highly achievable for everybody. I am only staking a thousand, and that is because one, I'm gonna be receiving my my other airdrops. I'm gonna be using my tokens to stake, but also since I know we're gonna be receiving an airdrop probably over the next uh, month because we participated on the previous campaign, most likely the price can also go down a little bit. So that is pretty usual. Whenever there is an airdrop, people are cashing out taking some profit out of the project. So that's why you guys can see that the price is just going down and going down and going down because they went with vesting, which is something pretty dumb, dumb for me because in the end, it doesn't really matter um, if you give the token away the first month or if you divide it into 12 months. In the end, people that are willing to sell are still gonna be selling. So it doesn't really matter. But hey, they did it and it was a vesting plan of four months, so 25% each month. So that's why you can see that the price goes down um, basically every week or every month that we get the airdrop. That phase is done, but then we have the other airdrop, which most likely they're going to be vesting it. And obviously we have some people that are going to be selling. Myself, no, I'm going to be using these tokens to stake and maybe I'm going to be purchasing a little bit more to increase my tier. So for the process for you to purchase some and stake, which by the way, depending on the amount of <clears throat> tokens that you're staking, so fly, you are earning some points, which will go towards the airdrop for superposition. So the longer you stake, the bigger the amount that you're using, the bigger your airdrop, the bigger your points. But one thing you need to take into consideration, please, if you're staking your funds, do not unstake it. Because we can see here, they do have a uh, post on Medium where it says if you unstake your tokens, you will lose your points. So make sure that whatever you're planning to stake, one, you're okay with losing because we never know this is crypto. And second is that you are not planning to use these funds in the future. So whatever the amount is something that you can just take and forget about it for the next maybe three to four months, go ahead and use it. Maybe it is $20 for you. 
a thousand dollars for another person doesn't really matter um, just make sure that you're not going to be using them over the next few months so we go first to jumper we do eth or any token that you're planning to to swap for fluidity and then we swap it in case you are um unable to see the flight token just go to coin market cap type fluidity and then go down and then copy the wallet address i mean the contract address copy paste to jumper so you guys can import the contract address so you're going to be able to swap it since i have been using it for a long time i don't know if now you can just type fly and you're going to be able to see it but at first I, I actually needed to import the contract address so just giving you guys the option you go to coin market cap copy contract address paste and you're going to be able to get it so that is for one of the tasks for um in track if you want to go with the minimum which is 500 then you guys can see how much it is probably like three dollars yeah three bucks um or if you right away you want to have a tier then you can do the five thousand one, and you're going to be spending around 30 bucks to stake so since that is an arbitrum you connect your wallet and then you go to stake you add the amount that you have available stake and basically that's it there is a locking period of seven days so that means if you stake your funds you're not going to be able to get it back um you do need to wait seven days but again it doesn't really matter because if you stake your funds and you remove it you're basically losing your points so you're just staking for nothing so make sure that if you stake you don't do nothing else then we should be done for this and then we have using the test net which are the three quests that we have first one is getting some faucet tokens so we go to the website which is superposition.so again i'm going to be adding the links in the description or just go to intract and then click right here and you will be redirected so we do open testnet we have long tail amm that is the dex then we have intract which we're already using and we also have minting your own domain. I already did it because, again, that is on testnet. I'm not spending my own funds. You guys can use whatever you want. I just use DeFi Chronicles. Dot meow. Then we go to the DEX right here. Long tail. First step is getting some tokens from the faucet. We do SPN faucet right here. You enter your wallet address. Request. And you're going to be receiving a crazy amount of tokens. SPN um cat wspn and blah 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 so on and so forth so once you're done with that you go to get started so you guys can take a swap one thing you need to note is that since there is not enough liquidity even though it is a test net most of the time if you're using a high amount of money it might not uh process the transaction so for example if i do this let's say that i want to use cat if I type something like 100, I do swap, confirm swap, you guys can see it fails. But if I do 10, I do swap, confirm, I'm able to do it. So unfortunately, you will be required to take a few um, extra swaps. But obviously, since it is on testnet, it doesn't really matter. By the way, since this is um, on SPN... Let's see if we can actually, if they already have an explorer. Blockchain explorer. Here it is. So we can check the transaction token transferred. All right. So SPN, here's the amount. Perfect. So we should have everything needed once we claim from the faucet so we can take the transactions. So now that I have swapped, again, you guys can repeat the process maybe 10 times. So you can have a minimum volume of $100. Once you're done with it, it is not a task on Intrack, but still good to do is go to create position or you guys can just click right here. So we have cat FUSDC. I click on it. Let's do something like 10. Same issue. If I try to go with 100, it fails. But if I use 10... I can definitely do it. It might also fail sometimes, just so you know. But it is actually easier. So we do this. Let's do confirm. And let's see if we are able to use it. 
yeah, looks like everything is working properly. Yeah, great. There you go, success. So we're done. So I'm also providing some liquidity. You guys can do the same process every single day if you want to. You can claim the faucet every day. Um, I don't know what is the limitation, probably maybe every four hours, something like that. Um, and then just go to swap. Swap as much as possible if you have any any time available within 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 a day, uh, maybe five ten minutes. Take a few swaps, go and stake it. And basically, that's it. And obviously, try to increase your fly holdings and staking because that is definitely going to play a huge part in the airdrop. But since it is a token that is kind of volatile, um, I wouldn't be purchasing a crazy amount of it, right? So as usual. Um, if you're farming 10 projects, try to set up a budget um, for fluidity. So maybe you have 1K, then maybe your budget for fluidity can be something around 100 bucks, 80 bucks. So you can purchase fluid fluidity. Don't go crazy with it because in the end, what we are doing is more of a gambling. Um, we're placing some bets on multiple projects. And in the end, we can see which one was actually better for us. So as of now, this is the only thing that we have available. Another thing is they added a post saying that we might have all the things that they're building and it looks like it is Socialfy. So that is most likely the other application or that that we might have on the blockchain, which is just a so Socialfy that um, we can engage with whatever it might be i don't know uh, but just make sure to follow them on twitter so whenever that is up and running you guys can participate and obviously if there is any important update i'm still going to be making a video for you guys so that's what we got so far let me know if you have any question any doubt thank you guys for watching take care